The race for the GOP presidential nomination is heating up, with the frontrunners making appearances in Iowa and New Hampshire this week, and two well-known names expected to enter the race in the coming days. Rich Edson has more from Iowa. We've got to end this culture of losing uh, that's infected the Republican Party in recent years. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is taking his campaign to New Hampshire today after a two-day five-town blitz across Iowa. The governor is making the case he's the Republican best prepared to beat President Biden as he and Trump continue to spar over policy. you got to have humility. Uh, you can't be prideful. Uh, it can't be just about you. You know, yes, you're the leader. Uh, but you need to have the humility to know that you can't do it alone. A spokesperson for Trump ripped DeSantis' first campaign speech this week, saying, quote, his poorly conceived speech was light on substance and was crafted to appease establishment never Trumpers who are looking for a swamp puppet that will do their bidding. The former president is campaigning in Iowa today. He'll meet with voters and finish the day with a town hall this evening. Trump is at the top of the polls of declared and potential GOP candidates, leading DeSantis by more than 30 points. The former president called DeSantis disloyal after his endorsement of him just a few years ago. This is a war of, you know, a certain kind. And what you do is, generally speaking, uh, the person that's in second place, you go after that person. I don't like what he did. I think it's a very terrible thing what he did. Meanwhile, it's still unclear when Biden will hold his first campaign events. Recent Fox News polling shows 64 percent of Americans say they do not believe he's a strong leader. The Republican field is expanding. Former Vice President Mike Pence, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie are expected to enter the race next week. In Urbandale, Iowa, Rich Edson, Fox News.